to make these slipper soles, I bought a floor mat at the dollar store. And it's not a very thick mat because I want to be able to cut through it with scissors. And it has kind of this hard rubberized, this is the back part of the mat. And this would be the front and it's just like carpeting. And then I just took a slipper that fit and I took a piece of chalk and I drew all the way around so that I have the shape that I would need. And then I'm just going to take some scissors and this is why you don't want anything that's too thick. You want the carpet to be light enough that you can cut through with with uh, regular household scissors. I suppose if it was too thick you could probably use a saw. So just go ahead and cut out these soles. Like that. So now you have this carpeting on this side and a rubberized section on this side. And now it'd just be a simple matter of turning that over and sewing it on with some very durable thread or some fishing line. And if you'd like to have a thicker sole, you could just do two layers. So you would just cut two of these and then sew them together when you're attaching them to the bottom of the slippers or you could actually even glue them with the white glue first and then sew them on the bottom of the slipper. I hope you find a use for these type of slipper soles. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.